If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. And if you need any code cards, make sure you check out Potown Store for automatic email delivery and use code TABLEMONTH for 5% off all your purchases. If you're from Europe, MealyBotsGaming.com is a great option to get your cards from. They have all sorts of sealed products, merchandise, and all the sets available from Pokemon Sun and Moon upwards, including the latest Hidden Fate set. Don't forget to use Tailmon code when checking out to get a further 5% off from your final purchase. everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Teacher World 2020. We are going to be continuing with our 10 wins challenge with our Psychic Malamar deck that we got from Grant Manley. We are currently at a 4-2 record with the deck. PokeGX, Jedi, Alex, thank you so much <clears throat> for being here. Thank you so much guys for being here today with me as we go through the wilderness that is the ladder. Busted Malamar, indeed PokeGX. <clears throat> it seems like we're up against the mirror match. It seems like we're up against the mirror match uh, where we where neither of us has um where neither of us has Ultra Necrozma, which is good, right? And we have a pretty good start, not gonna lie. <clears throat> All we're missing is a Psychic, like a pair of Psychics. One to discard, one to attach. And that's just amazing. That is just amazing. We have essentially a really, really, really good setup. Should I treasure? I already have this. If I get a Psychic, then that's the dream, right? <clears throat> I feel like I'm just gonna go ahead and treasure. Can't hear the switch, makes me a little nervous for sure. Uh, the other switch and the two escape boards are available. Though I did prize one psychic and their recycle energy, so that's not good. <clears throat> We're getting close to getting the full art Lily Jedi, that's pretty good. All right, and this is basically all we could have asked for. <clears throat> we'll bring away the Psychic for a Psychic. We'll attach that Psychic. Reinforce will likely remain in play. I'll also go ahead and Acrobike. Eh. Sure, I'll keep the treasure. <clears throat> and then I'm kind of liking grabbing the Ditto here. Because later in the game, if I need to replace a if I need to replace a person, if I need to replace, oh, that's really nice. If I need to replace a um, a Malamar, I might not be able to bench the Ditto if my opponent went ahead and, um, I should have attached the spell tag. If my opponent went ahead and, um, or has an active with a spell tag attached. Right, so that's why benching the Ditto early is better than another Inkay. That way we can evolve that and protect it. <clears throat> why aren't you using the full arts and the different artwork for Lily? What do you mean? I have full art. Oh, I mean, honestly, I don't like. I just alternate between the different Lily arts. So there's double ink game. My opponent also has the Giratina already. He will get the first distortion door, which is annoying. Maybe I could have just waited. Well, no, I needed to get the attachments. That was more important. That was more important to get the attachments. <clears throat> and I mean, eliminating the Jirachi first is not bad. Oh, no shiny Malamar, that's true. Why do I not have shiny Malamars? I, I need to change that right after this game, much like. Thank you so much for letting me know. I need to make that change after this game. Please, please, please remind me. Please remind me after this game. The skateboard, is he going to retreat? Oh, the Lightus isn't full art. Yeah, the Lightus isn't full art because uh, the, the Espion Deoxys is not full art as well. Oh my gosh, and he does replace the stadium. That's super, super annoying here. 
That is actually extremely annoying for my opponent. Extremely annoying. Because now I actually need a few extra cards to get this KO. So I need now an energy and a switching card rather than just a switching card. <clears throat> I am able to find the energy, that's great. I am able to find the switching card, that's also great. I'd really rather find the escape board, however. Uh, yeah, we'll just lose access to a reset stamp, it's fine. Okay, so definitely attaching. Well, I guess I'll still wish as well. Grab the Lily for next turn, that's really good. Hola, boom, boom. Daniel Davis, do you think Mew Box needs Benchfire Mew? No, I don't think Mew to Mew Mew needs Benchfire Mew. I think Wolfet and Feeny are much stronger techs than Benchfire Mew. I feel like people would only or you would only want to play Benchfire Mew if generally um, you had a situation where. Um, you lost because your Detene was sniped, and that's not common enough versus all the other tech cards you need, like Wolf and Amphini. Because usually you're applying so much pressure with a Mewtwo that it's hard for them to just ignore it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Lightest isn't full art, so that it matches the non-full art Espion Deoxys, because there is no full art Espion Deoxys. But I do need to make the Malamar shiny, though. I definitely, definitely need to make the Malamar shiny. So we get the first prize and no spell tag retaliation, so that's good. My opponent needs now a second Malamar and an energy from his hand, and which he definitely didn't have based on, um, well, he gets a Malamar, based on the fact that he didn't distortion door and attach. However, he did find the second Malamar off of the Lily. <clears throat> we'll target down the Jirachi. But he's just going to retreat, so we're going to be two prizes ahead here, which is really, really big in this mirror match. And now I definitely don't want to give him Gradient Forest. I also don't want to switch. I, feel, I honestly don't think I'm going to do anything here other than attack. I don't think I'm going to do anything here other than attack. <clears throat> this Well, you know what? This could be a good opportunity to use Mew, because his Giratina is stuck up there. Maybe benching Mew, spell tagging it, and then Lilying could be decent. Mayhawk, thanks so much for the follow. Josh, I am doing well, thank you. How about you? Um, likewise, Cashman, my day's going pretty good. Thank you. How about yours? I'm not sure what to do. The extra damage counters from Mew could be impactful, but getting another prize is also really good. Look, like I'm just gonna go ahead and Shadow Impact. I think that's fine. I'll put the damage on the Giratina once again. Again, very far ahead with these two prizes. And now I got the Recycle Energy, which is also useful as a potential um, retreating option, <clears throat> which is great. And my opponent just has to Cynthia. So countering the stadium might have delayed me, but it's actually delaying him. And this is the issue with running other stadiums that are not Brilliant Forest in, in Malamar. They just take away from the consistency. There's a Radiant Forest, so now my opponent has a guaranteed attack, but definitely suffering because of his... Um, because of what he did, because of the way he did this. And he went 3-0 with Regisard at League, that's awesome. Which, was it Green's Regisard or Ability Regisard? Okay, so the fact that my opponent spread to the Jirachi again clearly indicates that he does not have Ultron Chrisma, if there was any doubt. Being stuck with your leg up, Josh? That sucks, I'm sorry. Um, seems like my opponent's gonna go for the... For the dude. Don't think it's a big deal. He does bypass the spell tag. Takes down a Malamar as well, but it's not really a big deal, I don't think. <clears throat> Not really that big a deal. Okay. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and bench the other Inke. <clears throat> I feel like I'm gonna attach the energy there.
Hmm. Can I Viridian away my Viridian? For a Psychic. And I don't see any reason why to anything else. I'm just gonna take the KO. And sure, he spreads damage counters, but it's not the end of the world. At some point he has to attack this guy. Do you not got my Tina? Oh, that's right. That bypasses my spell tag. That bypasses my spell tag. I did not realize that. Duh. I mean, I don't think spreading to a Mala Orb would have been good though. This does even up the price trade though. I did not think of that. Oops. I'll just let him have the, the Inke. That was a bit silly on my part. I completely forgot that he had access to that. So now he bypassed this first spell tag. I don't have any damage counters on his side of the field. So as long as he can bypass the next one, I should be fine-ish. Because there's no way he gets three prizes off of his SP on Deoxys next turn, I don't think. I would hope not. <clears throat> the issue is, if he uses his SP on Deoxys to kill my Malamar, Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to bench another Inke for sure. I think. We'll see, because this has 50 HP. He'll essentially have 16 damage counters between this turn and the next one. That's a lot of damage counters. That is a lot of damage counters. I think... No, I can't use Espion Deoxys. What am I saying? Maybe I use Mew this turn? A spell tag Mew? He should be out of ways to bypass the spell tag, I think. So then... As long as I don't activate his spell tag, he can't Espion Deoxys, I don't think. So yeah, I think that's gonna be the plan. We're definitely gonna Distortion Door as well. Putting damage here and here to pressure. Oh, and I do KO the Ditto, that's actually awesome. That is actually awesome. And then I feel like I'm just gonna Cynthia here. SP and Deoxys should be good to go for the next turn. I'll grab the Lily to not give any indication. You can update your streamlabs? What do you mean, Munchlags? Why do I want to update my streamlabs? And then... How many psychics do I have? I only have two. Well, three rather. So if I psychic recharge twice, I might not be able to power up the... The Espion Deoxys. Can he KO a Malamar this turn? He can with his Espion Deoxys. So I should Psychic Recharge once. Because if he uses Espion Deoxys to KO my person, then I'm in trouble. And now we Psy Power, KOing the Ditto. The Scratcher thing? Munchlax, what scratcher thing? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I actually have no idea what you're talking about. The scratcher thing. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. So, try and get the plate down. Are we going to see... We might see my opponent use his own Mew. I don't know what his move is now. 
<clears throat> if he activates my spell tag, I place all four damage on Jirachi. Yeah, he's gonna go for the Espion Deoxys. There's no way he has three three KOs though, right? Oh, maybe he just doesn't attack. No, he doesn't have enough energy in the disc of all. Oh, he might. Uh oh. Oh, much like I have no idea. I had no idea that was activated. <laughs> Oh, so if my opponent doesn't attack, does he win? Do I lose here? If he finds a switch? Did he just dis- yeah, he just discarded a switch. If he goes retreat... Uh-oh. Wow, if he hadn't attacked, if he had just retreated, I think my opponent might have won. I believe my opponent would have won here. Now I just KO these two guys, right? And I win. If my opponent hadn't attacked and just taken a turn to use the other cross division GX, like if he had powered up the other cross division GX, I'm pretty sure he would have won. And the shrine even hurts him. But okay, we'll just get the... If he had retreated, he would have had enough. He just would have needed an energy from hand to win. There's the victory, yeah. That was intense, so I might... My opponent's move was to not attack. If he hadn't attacked and just retreated, I think I would have lost. So I've been playing the Mal Armor not quite optimally. Damaging myself was also very silly. In that spot to just let the Giratina go down and not activate the spell tag. Okay. Guess the tables have turned indeed. <laughs> yeah, Munchlax loves Norlax. I have not what do you know the name of the plugin? Maybe that's something that I had in the beginning, but I don't remember having that in a while. Well our mirrors aren't it the worst. They're really weird. They're definitely very weird. Okay. So. We lose the coin flips against presumably Picarum. Against presumably Picarum. And, oh, we're up against Andrew Mahone, actually. We are up against Andrew Mahone, I did not realize. I did not realize we were up against Andrew Mahone. Awesome. Another another boss battle. Right? Another boss battle against his good old Pikaram. Against his good old Pikaram. Okay, fairly strong Lily. Is it gonna be Pika Pads? It might be. Already finding the Coco Prism Star, that's really nice. Okay. This is like whenever we run into these really good guys, those are like boss battles. Although I feel like all the games that we've been playing lately have been very competitive. I think that's because we've been using very competitive decks for a long streak of time rather than like for a couple of games and then switching to not so powerful decks. There's the order pad, first tail slip, and Mahone definitely gearing up for a potential turn to attack here. Um, oh my gosh, my Mew is prized. That's so unfortunate to prize it in this, right this game. That is so, so unfortunate. Not much we can do about it though. Oh, <laughs> and, and I didn't get a I didn't get a person to help me out. And a second Inke. Oh no, I misplayed, I misplayed, I misplayed. Uh oh. I misplayed right there. 
I did. I, I've done this so, so wrong right now. Also very wrong. I need to run away the psychic. I need to run away the psychic and I need to just power up the Latios. What am I doing here? Well, I guess he has Sarawar, right? So that's pretty scary, but oh, that was so silly. I need a magical Lily next turn. Lions is for clear vision checks. I mean, sometimes duck make, but also the attack purge is obviously useful. I could have also benched it to save myself a switch. <laughs> Pokey checks, I mean, honestly. Hello, Rail. You see a Cynthia. It's gonna be able to full blitz onto the other Pikaram. I definitely see a two price tackled in our future. So I need a bunch of Inkays. And I really need him to not replace my stadium. That's a big part because I miss Blade so badly. Doesn't seem like he has a counter stadium. Would Clear Vision have been an option here? Not really, because then I'm training a GX for two prizes. And he doesn't know that I don't have Mew. But yeah, I know it, but he doesn't. That's the important part. He doesn't know that the Mew is prized. Okay. I need, I, okay, that's a good, I, I'm gonna do this. That was a good top deck for sure. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. I feel like I'm even gonna have to discard the Latios. So the Latios could be a good option to have. I'm gonna discard that for an NK. Okay. One NK is priced, that's also not great. I'm gonna switch into the Latios and then I'm gonna Lily. Okay, the spell tag definitely helps. Reset stamp, not so much. Definitely need to grab. Oof. I think I definitely need the Lily, even though I'm probably not gonna be able to power up a Giratina next turn. Yeah, I mean, to say I'm in trouble would be an understatement. To say I am in trouble would be an understatement. If he, if he gets a tackle dog, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be game. He gets a tag bolt off. I am pretty sure it's gonna be game. If for some reason, yeah, immediate, immediate energy switch. Ah, not having the Mew. If the Mew hadn't been prized, then I would have grabbed the Pokecom right there. I would have grabbed the Pokecom right there. Why not give spell tag to Latios? If he goes after the Latios, that's a mistake. KOing Latios is a mistake here. He's never going to KO the Latios with the Tack Bolt. If he KOs active and KOs Malamar with Tack Bolt, he's perfectly safe. Yep, there's the Tack Bolt. If he KOs Latios, that is a big mistake from my opponent. So he's not going to do it. I hope he does, but he's not going to. Pretty sure he's gonna go after the Malamar. Tax switch makes sense. I guess since I'm down two switches, he can still go after Larios and beat me because I have no way to switch next turn. He just had all this energy switch cards already anyways. 
Yep, no Mew. If I had Mew, I'd feel very comfortable in this spot. Puts back their aura, maybe grabs Choo Choo. There's no way for me to return KO this person. Unless I had uh, Marshadow Machamp, that would have been nice. That would have been nice, but not quite the case here. There's a Detene, is he really gonna just let it change here? I hope so, because that's one less option. No, it's just gonna attack Volt, yeah. You go after the Malmar, that way I can't do anything in return. I might, might still have a, a small chance to win here. Might. And Espion Deoxys is gonna be a big part of it. I might still have a small chance to win here. I guess he's debating on whether to KO Lydus or KO Malamar, but I think Malamar is still correct. I'm just gonna put everything onto the Pigrom. Because another spell tag plus two distortion doors is a KO on the Pigrom. Okay. The energy doesn't really matter here. I will, however, regen forest away the regen forest and fail it. I'm gonna bench this guy. I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna attach here. I'm gonna attach here. I'm gonna reset stamp him. This is the one turn I have to reset them, basically. And then a Lily. He still has a pretty big um, deck, so hopefully... Hopefully... Uh, Mimikyu could be useful. Mimikyu could actually still be, be useful. It's not useful right now, but it could still be useful. Maybe? Yeah, and I have the follow-up Cynthia, so I don't need to Acro Bike again. And I definitely don't need Jirachi, I don't have the time to Stellar Wish. Uh, should I just grab the Ditto? There's no difference other than Ditto is not searchable. Alright. So, hmm. I definitely need to Distortion Door. Three, four, five. I still have some psychics left. The thing is, if I promote the Giratina, because I'm out of switches, my home creatures drop pass. So I feel like I'd rather psychic recharge here. That way, both of them can attack potentially next turn. Well, not next turn, but in two turns' time, if he ends up dead drawing off of this. He's only down three supporters. So he hasn't lost much either. So this is why you don't give the spell back to Latios Dokmik. It's not about taking as many prizes as you can, it's about making the best out of the situation. One custom catcher gone, that's good news. That is certainly good news. <laughs> Gabriel, hello to Klebao from Fortaleza. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, Choo Choo and Zeraora. So the other card is the Dene? Really? Yeah, that, it, it has to mean that. Or he has a Cynthia or something. It has to be the Dene. Otherwise, he wouldn't have discarded the Custom Catcher. One custom catcher gone is good news though. Maybe I didn't have the time to attach to the Espion Deoxys. Yep, it was the Dene. And he still has his order pads. 
he might have Volkner, though he might not. I feel like Volkner is just so strong. But if he has Order Pads, he doesn't have Volkner for sure. If he has Order Pads, he doesn't have Volkner. So we need a complete whiff here from Andrew. And for him to like be scared to take this knockout. 190. Yeah, but I should have attached to the Giratina though. I should have attached to the Giratina. Oh, he just goes for the full blitz, okay. Well, I mean, he's, it, it comes down to um, custom catchers. If he finds two custom catchers, we're dead. If not, then he's dead. One, two, three, four. Or maybe, actually, Maybe if I tack perch this turn. What if I tack perch? Oh, I can't. No, I can maybe tack perch this turn. If I tack perch this turn. He can't double custom catcher KO the Latios. So is that my play? But then that requires 100% an escape board, which I have no way to guarantee. Oh, don't tag perch because of Zerara. Aura. That's right, that's right. Never mind. Zerara. Aura. Zerara. Aura. Zerara. Aura. Thank you. Thank you, chat. <laughs> Thank you so much, chat. Um. He can reach for a KO on the SP and Deoxys, right? He has not used a single Electro Power. So I think I just go in with the Giratina. I think I just go in with the Giratina. I'll attach and then I'll Cynthia. Yeah, sorry, I forgot. Yeah, well, what am I thinking? Pack Bridge would have immediately lost me the game, probably. Okay, so we'll Distortion Tor. Three prize cards. There's the Steely Mew. Okay, so does Andrew get double custom catcher to KO the Latios? It literally comes down to that, I guess. Yeah, it generally comes down to that. Stupid mule. I feel like I should keep thinning though. Uh, sure, I won't grab the Mimikyu. I should keep thinning. For sure. There's no way I need another Malamar this game. So I guess I'll show the Mimikyu. Alright. So it comes down to this upcoming turn. Can Andrew find double custom catcher plus an electro power? Keeping the bench locked. Ah. Uh... Yeah, there is. Absolutely, there definitely is. Thank you so much for the follow, Red. There is definitely an argument not to open up that space, to not let him get a third Tadene going. Yeah, no, Gabriel. Yeah. Not opening the bench space might have been the right call. Oof. Yeah. Didn't matter because he had the Lily. 
didn't matter because I had the Lily. It all comes down to that extra price Andrew got because I didn't have Mew. Other than my terrible start, right? Um, if I also led with the Latios, that might have been a little bit better. I'm not sure. But not having access to the Mew is what killed me. Not having access to the Mew is what killed me. If I bench Mew at the right time after the full blitz, then I'm perfectly safe. Yeah. If I bench Mew at the right time, I am perfectly safe. He only gets to um he only gets one prize that turn rather than two. Right now he would have had three prizes remaining and I'm able to finish the game up. So 10% chance to prize the Mew. What can you do? What can you do? What can you do about that? And what can you do about this? <laughs> I had a, the potential for great comeback. Yeah, if he didn't have the custom catcher, I would have won. So it came down to that. It came down to that. Yeah, even with the turbo start, we we gave it a good run, indeed. I did pay attention to my opponent's previous screen, so I have no idea what we are up against. I actually have no idea what we are up against, but I'm actually gonna go for the Giratina immediately so I can theme these two cards as well. So I still have a bunch of ways to get more Inkes after this Cynthia. Like these ones, indeed. I'll just establish another Inke. There's always the potential that this guy goes down. We got a pretty good hand. I don't know what I'm up against, but this is a pretty, pretty good start. Thanks to the Cynthia top deck. Without the Cynthia top deck, it would have been terrible. I lost against Trigger Gym, Red the Reckless. We were close, but my Mew was priced, so I was not able to stop the the two price tag bolt. And that extra price is what allowed Andrew to um, beat me. So that was that was the issue. Energy plus spell tag, which is always scary, right? Because that's seven damage counters already on my side of the board. <laughs> he was too tricky. <laughs> Dang that tricky man. I don't have any water. I need to go for some water. Okay, my opponent decides to switch. That's good. That means no damage to us, hopefully, unless he has the escape board already. I'm gonna run for some water. I'll be right back. So he did have the escape board already. Hello, Atre. Two and one damage counter. Does the one damage counter maybe indicate that my opponent has access to... I feel like I'm going to Cynthia here. That indicates he has access to Ultra Necrozma. Okay, so I do find a switch. That's nice. I didn't attach because if I attach here, then... I have to draw a switching guard, but by not attaching, I know I can always get an energy, and if I get a second Malamar, I can just attach and retreat rather than use up the switching guard. So it's a win-win to not attach right there. X Factor, thank you so much for the follow. And I kind of like just getting rid of the Radiant Forest. I mean, yeah, the Radiant Forest for the energy. And here's what I'm going to do, because my hand is so bad. I'm going to attach and retreat into the Jirachi and get a Stellar Wish off. And afterwards, perfect, I love the Lily here and now I can double Psychic Recharge and still switch to get the damage, I mean the KO. So we get the first prize and unless my opponent has Mimikyu, he won't be able to retaliate. If he does, then oh well. 
Oh well. Do I want to bench this other Inke? I guess there's no reason not to. My other Giratina is priced anyways. So we do get damage counters. This does open up, I guess, a double Giratina. KO on one of the Inkes? Not on both though. So it's fine, I think it's fine. <clears throat> it's okay. Okay. Um, puts one on Malamar, putting it up to three, and then... Okay, so I think my opponent might have Ultra Necrozma based on this situation. I feel like this indicates that my opponent has Ultra Necrozma because he's spreading the damage. He's spreading the damage trying to set up the Ultra Necrozma turn, so we're gonna have to play with that information. We're gonna see a treasure, discarding the psychic. There's the Giratina. We'll probably Viridian Forest away the Giratina. What we might need to do is use Mew with a spell tag to spread enough that to spread the extra damage counters so that Espion Deoxys can clean up the board. Lily for one would be very underwhelming for my opponent, that's for sure. Hopefully he doesn't retreat into the Inke and I regret using up that switch. A lot of damage being spread already to my side of the field. 50, 90 damage already versus zero for him. I do know him, Sikyo. We played against him the other day, and yeah, I do know him. I do know who he is. Pretty cool guy. Lily only for two. That's good. That is good. What do you think is the most fun deck to play? I feel like the most fun deck is Gardevoir Sylvian. That's the most fun, I think. Not necessarily the best deck, but the most fun. <clears throat> I did see the new Teapot Pokemon. I did see it. Polter, Poltygeist or something like that, right? It was called Poltygeist. Okay, by retreating into the Giratina, he's not gonna be able to attack next turn again. So that's good. That is very good for us. I'm gonna bring first away a Psychic. For a Psychic, I need to be careful. I do have my Recycle Energy. I do have my Recycle Energy. I'm going to go ahead and set up another Malamar, definitely. But this extra... Yeah, that's my fourth Supporter gun. This will be the fifth one I use. But there's another one. The Recycle Energy is pretty nice to have. Let's just go ahead and attach it here. I'll always just get it back. And then I don't see a need to Psychic Recharge. I'm just going to go ahead and KO here. <clears throat> Place the damage on myself. Well, in, no, I can't put the damage on these guys because then Giratina just puts in the work. Teapot Pokemon means we are one step closer to an actual table Pokemon. I know, right? We have Ice Cream Pokemon, we have a Chandelier Pokemon. We have a candle Pokemon, a teapot Pokemon. Where do those all do all of those Pokemon like to hang out? At a table, right? So yeah, I agree, H to the OEM. That would be awesome if Pokemon released an actual table mod. A keychain. Where do you leave your keys? On the table. Okay, I'm gonna be three prize ahead before my opponent's able to get a KO. House Pokemon. <laughs> <clears throat> what else? What other object Pokemon are there? There has to be more. I'm sure if you Google ob object based Pokemon. So, Kofagrigus. 
Kofak Rigas is one. All the ads. Cryogonal, Chandelier, Vanillite, Honage, Nosepass. What is Nosepass? Chingling, it's a bell. Um, Trubbish and Carpenter, they're trash bags. I guess I'm stretch. I guess Avalug. No, Avalug is a glacier, not a. I was gonna say Avalug might be a table, but it's really not. Okay, I get recent stamped into the switch. That's very nice. That is very nice. The spell tag. I need to be careful with that spell tag, actually. I need to be careful with that spell tag. Let's acrobike for the lily. Or do I just set up the Malamar and protect the Inke? Probably like I need to do that. Feel like I have to do that, but where do I place the damage though? I have to protect the Inke. I mean if I put never gets a KO then this is completely fine. I have the recycle, so I feel more comfortable getting rid of the psychic now to thin. Okay, so I get the KO, and where do I put the damage? On this person? No matter where I put it, my opponent will be able to get a KO on a Malamar. But I'd rather that happen and he doesn't bypass the spell tag than. Um, I'd rather keep the Giratina alive because of the spell tag than the Malamar. But the damage is definitely like really stacking up though. This is some good trivia. <laughs> Del Mice, yeah, Del Mice. Illusion type table. <laughs> Palo Sand, yeah, Palo Sand, that's very true. Palo Sand. Where do you keep Magnix? Exactly, in a table, right? Exactly. Okay. With the bench space open, I honestly feel like... No, I can't. Spell tag. Doesn't matter if my opponent never takes a knockout. Drift flame, yeah, drift flame, that's really cool. Drift flame is really cool. Yeah, like event, there, like by gen 12, there has to be a table mark. Maybe the table Pokemon will be the creator of all the object Pokemon. Maybe. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. My opponent keeps drawing Lily instead of Cynthia, which is very unfortunate for him. Arceus table form, potentially. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Molly. Okay, so he's at five prizes. Does he get a knockout right here? If he does, he goes down to four. Which means... Yep, there's a metal energy, so we know my opponent as well turn for now. And there's a Lily, so with another Malamar, he'll be able to attack here. There it is. So he gets a knockout. So now, if I take a knockout, I lose to Ultra Necrozma. So I can't take a knockout. We don't know if my opponent has custom catchers either, though. Because if I bench the Deoxys, the Espion Deoxys this turn, then I'm gonna be in trouble. But I feel like, I think that's going to be my play, actually. Between the four damage hunters from the spell tag and the distortion door, I do have enough to win with 20 damage counters, for sure. But it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. <laughs> the coolest Pokemon is Quagsire? 
potentially, potentially. Um, just put them on the Jirachi. Yeah, I think my plan, as long as I can find a way to, like, well, ooh. This is not looking great, actually. That's a really good top deck. There's nothing to really enforce that way. No. I'm gonna lose, aren't I? I'm gonna lose. Well, I just need to not attack this turn. Oh no, I needed the... I needed the skateboard. Jeez, I keep making these silly mistakes. I needed the skateboard 100%. I needed the skateboard 100%. It's another, it's a Malamar mirror that I'm going to lose. And we were so far ahead. My opponent missed so much early on. even have enough? I don't think I have enough. Because I would put... I get four extra damage counters. No, I don't have enough. Reset stamps me down to three. Mm. This turn I needed to attack with Mew. If I, like, if I was not going to find Espion Deoxys, I needed to use Mew that turn. Oh, I might have enough, depending on where he puts the 40 damage from Giratina, actually. Ooh, so where does he put them? On himself. Okay, I think I have enough. I think I'm gonna have enough. Maybe? Yeah, I think I have enough. If I can find Espion Deoxys, I'm pretty sure I have enough to win. Alright! So six card Lily, silly Latios, I don't need you. There's the Aspen Deoxys and I have Pokecom and Mysterious Treasure. Oh, well I still have a bunch of Pokemon. All right, so I'll play this guy. I'll play this guy. Oh no, I misplayed, I misplayed, oh my gosh. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Well, that was very dumb. I misplayed yet again. I should not have benched them, you. Okay, but I won. I won. Oof. Oof. I thought I misplayed, but I did not. But I, in fact, did not. I do have enough damage spread to where I can win. If, yeah, well played opponent. Oof. Well played. I was very nervous for a second there. I was very nervous. Mew stops the Ultra and Crossman? No, it does not. Because Ultra and Crossman places damage counters. It does not do damage. So Mew does not stop does not stop Ultra and Crossman. Okay. So cross division one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. 40, three prizes, GG, oof, 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 that was close, that was close, my opponent needed to not attack, to not activate the spell tag, but how else was he going to get the KO though, and it would have just given me another turn to prep the 6 energy, uh, cross division GX. So we gotta win, yay! These games are very long though, for sure. These games are very, very long. 
All right, we are two thirds of the way there. Played nine games. We we have a sixty-six one percent. 